So, um, Salman Khan of Khan Academy said, to prepare humanity for the next hundred years, we need more of our children to learn computer programming skills, regardless of their future profession. Along with reading and writing, this ability to program is going to define what an educated person is. And I agree with this statement wholeheartedly, because with our evolving technological landscape, it's becoming more, impo more important for people to learn basic computer progra programming skills. So that's why today I'm gonna um, teach you how to make a web page from scratch using basic HTML and CSS. So first, I'm gonna discuss the um, tools that you need to actually build a web page. And second, I'm gonna discuss how to add content to that web page, um, including text, images, hyperlinks. And then third, I'm gonna um, teach you how to add style to that web page using CSS. Okay, so first let's discuss what tools you need um, to actually build your web page. And the, um, the really nice thing about web development is that you pretty much have what you need if you want a computer. All you really need is a text editor and um, a browser. And a text editor is just a simple text editor or a simple plain text editor that comes pre-installed on um, any computer, really. So I'm gonna work with Notepad today since that's what's available. And then, um, so all you do is you save your document as an HTML and CSS file, and then you use, and then you just double click it to open it in your browser, which will render it. Um, so, okay. So yeah. Um, so let's now um, talk about um, using HTML to actually add content to your web page. So, what is HTML actually? HTML is a hype. Um, it stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and um, it's used to describe web pages, and then um, it's opened by the browser, which renders it and shows it to us. So the way um, I gave out a cheat sheet um, that shows you the basic file structure of an HTML file. So what you do sorry, is you. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to include this. You need to include this. Um, You need to include the statement as the first line in your HTML page because it tells um, your browser what type of file it is. So this is an HTML file. And then next what you need to do is you need to add HTML opening and closing tags. And that's just, so the core of HTML is in tags. So these are just um, distinguished by their, these angle brackets here. This is an opening tag and then this forward slash indicates that this is a closing tag. And then every HTML document also has a head and a body section. So I'll just add head, opening and closing tags, and then body, opening and closing tags. So in your head is information about the web page. So the user doesn't necessarily interact with this part. Um, it just has stuff like the title and um, other information. And the, the body is actually where the content goes. So that's where all of your text and whatever goes. So let's add a title to this. So um, for this presentation, I'll just make it like a landing page for this class. So say Susie wanted to make a web page for this class. So I'll call it COM100. Let me save this. Uh, actually, I don't know if this will work on this computer. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, I don't even know where that saved to. Oh, yeah. uh, that's really slow. Yeah, okay, there you go. See the title just showed up right here. Um, so now let's actually, so let's say we want to add um, a title or a heading to this. So we do that by using header tags. There's six header tags, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. And they just vary in how big they make the font or how big they make the title. So H1 gives the biggest um, title. So let's again put the, um, put COM100 here and enclose that in opening and closing tags. And then if we just refresh this, you see that's where the title went. And then maybe underneath that we could put um, Susie's name. So in a slightly smaller header tag, um, we'll use H3. So I'll just put Professor Susie McFarland. So save that again, refresh, see it's a slightly smaller text. Okay, so now um, if we want to add an image, 
and image tags are slightly different than um, the tags we've looked at so far because it's self-closing. You don't need a, a closing tag to go with it. So the basic format for an image tag is like this. Image src is equal to URL. And whatever you put in the URL tells the image tag where to get that picture from. So I'll just get like a random public speaking picture or something. Um, so yeah, that's fine. So you copy the image address, and then you just substitute it where the URL is. Save that, and then we'll refresh it. And there's your image tag. It's a little big, but that's fine. And then the way you add text to this is you just um, put it anywhere in the body tag. So whatever like text you want, it'll, whoops. It'll just show up right there. But if you actually want to make it nicely formatted, you enclose it in um, paragraph tags or p tags. So let's just, um, I don't know. I need like random text. Um, this just gives, yeah, something like that. And then you, whoops, hopefully that'll end up fine. Yeah, see, it's more nicely formatted that way. And um, OK, so that's about all we need for the content for this page. So, but it's, it looks kind of boring right now. It's, there's a white background, and it's really basic um, font. But so the way you want to add style to that is you want to use something called CSS. And CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And it's a separate language from HTML. And it's a way, it's designed to um, distinguish the actual content of the web page from the presentation, so like all the styles and stuff. So you need a new, um, you need a new file for that. Whoops. And then you just save it as a CSS file. And um, so, you, but what you also need to do is, oh yikes. Um, okay. Well, okay, so the, you can include, I mean, I don't know how to finish this. But so the way, yeah, so CSS just adds, um, if I wanted to add different colors and different background colors and fonts, the way I would do that is using CSS. Unfortunately, I ran out of time, so I can't show you that. But um, yeah, that's how you would add design elements to your web page. So let's review what I went over. So first I went over what tools you need which is just a text editor and a browser. And then I went over how to add content to your web page using HTML. And then, unfortunately, I didn't get to how to add um, different styles to your web page using CSS. So I only touched the surface today with um, every, um, I only touched the surface with HTML and CSS. There's a lot more tags and um, things that are out there that you can add to your web page, but, um, Fortunately, there's a lot of resources available online to help you uncover those. So, yep, I, I recommend there's a few sources, resources that I added to those web pages. I recommend you look up, um, you go online and check those out, to, and then in no time you'll be able to make really great things. All right, thanks. Thank you.